Hey everyone, Percy Jules here. So today I would like to give you a little tip and I would also like to make a little complaint or make a suggestion. That might sound a little bit nicer. Anyway, I'm talking about duplicating tracks in Reaper. So as an example, I have a little song here with one track. So if I want to make a copy of this track, I could do this. So first of all, I would have to select the tracks I would like to make a copy of. So let's do that. Then right click on the track and choose duplicate tracks. Okay. As you can see, a duplicate has been made. It is a complete copy. So including the content, as you can see, it is a MIDI track and all MIDI information has also been copied. Absolutely fine. If that is what you want, perfect. Now here's my complaint. What if I want to make a copy of a track without the content? So I would like to have an, an exact copy, an exact duplicate. So the same effects, the same plugins, the same routing, only not the content. Well, Reaper doesn't have that option. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I could be, but I haven't found it. There is no action that does this. Um, and I think that that is very, very strange because in my experience, this is actually a much more common scenario. I use it all the time and I'm sure that many other people do also. So it's very strange. And I would really urge Caucus, the creators of Reaper to add that functionality as a default action. Okay, so please do. Now, does this mean that this is impossible to do with Reaper? Of course not. It just takes a little bit of a workaround. So what I would have to do is duplicate the track. So as I just did, then I would have to select all content on that track and just remove it. Now, of course, I'm not going to do all of that every time I want to make a copy of a track. I'm going to use a macro. Okay, now let's create this little macro or custom action as it is called in Reaper. Now, first thing to do is go up here to actions and show action list. And then let's go down here to custom actions and click new. Now, the first thing we want to include into this custom action is duplicating the tracks. So let's search for duplicates and here it is already. So let's drag that to the right. Next thing we want to do is select all the items on that track. Okay. So select uh, all items, you know, items uh, in track. It is called, I believe. Yes, this is it. And finally, we want to remove everything. So remove items. And that is this one. That's the entire macro or custom action. I have to give it a name and I'm going to call it duplicate uh, tracks and in parentheses um, settings only. And that is it. Now let's click OK. And now, as you can see, it is already in your actions list. OK, now, of course, we need a convenient way to activate this custom action. Of course, I could add a short key. I think it would be perfect to add this custom action to the exact same menu as the original duplicate tracks. So let's do that. Okay. Now let's first open the options menu and select customize menus toolbars. Okay. This uh, window will open up and let's click this drop down menu to see all the menus in Reaper. The one we're looking for is this one track control panel context. Okay. Let's choose that one. And so this is the menu we want to add our custom action to, by the way, this is the original duplicate tracks. And now we want to add our own. All right. Let's click add, choose action. And here is the custom action we want to add. So let's click select, close this window. And as you can see, the custom action has been added to the menu. All right. I think it looks a little bit funny, so I'm going to rename it real quickly because I want it to be called duplicate tracks settings only. Let's rename the other one as well. Let's call that one duplicate tracks and then complete. And I want it to be on top. So let's drag it up and this looks perfect to me. Okay. Let's click save and close this window. So now if I select this track and right click, you can see that here we have duplicate tracks complete. 
This is the original duplicate tracks. And here we have duplicate tracks settings only. Let's see what happens if I select that option. Boom, the track has been copied without the content. And that is exactly what we want. And that's the way to do it, or at least this is one of the ways to do it, okay? And that's all there is to it. So I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.